Hi, this is Paul and I've got another new video to show you. I am calling this the Great Pyramid with a quadruple duo 5 vector system. Okay, I'm showing in front the Great Pyramid of Giza. Inside the pyramid I show a yellow profile. So I'm going to give you some measurements. These are the only measurements that you need because if you've got a CAD program you can do the rest. Now what I've done I've been studying the connection between the duo 5 vector system. So now take a look at one of these faces. I'm going to turn the face to a color pink. Now look what I found. We can turn that triangle into a perfect 5 rectangle. Now if you want to learn more about the 5 rectangles, I made a video called 3D Platonic Order, No Chaos 5, five rectangles. Okay, let's take a look at some of the measurements of this rectangle. Now this measurement shows phi. It's pretty close within four decimal places. So now I'll bring in the rectangle for the dodeca. So now I can give you some dimensions for this rectangle. Now you can see that the dodeca rectangle and the icosa rectangle are interrelated with simple mathematical equations. So while we're on this subject, I'm going to put this shape in the front view. So I'd like you to compare this cross with the Celtic cross and the Egyptian cross. The second cross, the Ankh cross from Egypt, was regarded as a symbol of life. Okay, we go back to the pyramid again with the vectors. By rotating 72 degrees of the Icosa five vectors, you can form a full icosa and also the dodeca. Now if you use the five vectors of the dodeca, this can also be done. But you have to rotate 120 degrees. And I show this in my video 3D Platonic Order, No Chaos 2, and I made it two years ago. This is why I call it the duo five vector system. It's 72 degrees and 120 degrees. Now I've got something interesting to show you. This arrangement of the icosa and dodeca can come from the four faces. Maybe it's going into four dimensions. So let's take a look at this little animation. Now this is an important discovery because now we know the orientation of the icosa and dodeca. This is because we know the orientation of the Great Pyramid. I think the Egyptians can teach us something, because it's definitely not chaos. But try telling that to one of the professors. They run a mile if I try to get in touch with them. They seem to have no interest whatsoever in 3D geometry. Okay, now I'm going to take you to the solid version of this. And you can see as this is spinning around, you can see the vertices of the icosa sticking out a little bit. I call these the slimbo nipple, the slimbo gap. Now when I showed the duo rectangles, they were interrelated perfectly in phi. I think the duo ratio between the dodeca and icosa is very important. Because in my video showing how three-phase sine waves are achieved, the dodeca and icosa must be perfectly matched. Now I've showed that the dodeca gives us the cubes. Now the cubes keep doubling up from the size of a molecule all the way up to the Great Pyramid. I think it's a shame that mathematicians only want to look at chaos. Maybe geometry is too trivial for them. Anyways, this is another little discovery that I've made that might be interesting to a few. And I hope I'll get a couple of comments, because I only get comments for about eight hours. After that, they just stop. So this is Paul saying thank you very much for watching my video.